the presentation is composed of six parts. Introduction, description of rep MD160, calculate the step differential probability, solve this equation, clean attack, and improve semi-free stack clean attack. As we know, most published hash functions are based on the local Denga paradigm by iterating a compression function with fixed input size and output size. Therefore, a hash function can compress up to long messages and output a fixed length hash value. For hash function, there are three best security requirements that are clean resistance, pre-image resistance, and second pre-image resistance. Since a hash function compresses up to long messages by iterating a compression function, the compression function itself should also satisfy some security requirements that are semi-free stop clean resistance and free stop clean resistance. A semi-free stop clean means Two distinct messages and the same chain of variables lead to the same output of the compression function. And a free stop clean means two distinct messages and two distinct chain of variables lead to the same output of the compression function. This is the history of the analytical results of MD sharp hash family and shows our motivation to cryptanalyze web MD160. I also list some results on rep MD160 in this table. The number marked in red at the steps column means the attacks are not from the first step. Our results are marked in green. We improve the semi free stop clean attack by a factor of 2 to the power 15.3. We also give the first clean attack for the first 30 step rep MD160 with time complexity 2 to the power 67. In this part, I will give a brief description of RAPMD160. The compression function of it is composed of two branches, the left branch and the right branch. Each branch consists of 80 steps divided into five rounds with 16 steps per round. And this is the step function used in both branches. XI is the internal state used in the left branch. Why I is the internal state used in the right branch. Also, I introduced a temporary state QI for later use. To calculate QI, uh, we need to know M, K, Y minus 1, Y minus 2, Y minus 3, and Y minus 5. To calculate Y, we need to know QI and Y minus 4. Okay, this part. I will introduce the open problem and give our method to solve it. At Asia Crypt 2013, Mendel proposed an open problem to calculate the step differential probability of rep MD160. Since the step functions in both branches have the same form, we only consider the right branch and the left branch can be processed in the same way. Then, the open problem is how to calculate the probability that both the bit conditions of yi and the modular difference of yi are specified under the condition that all conditions of y minus 1, y minus 2, y minus 3, y minus 4, and y minus 5 are specified. In fact, in previous work, people only consider the bit conditions of yi, therefore it is difficult to give an accurate value of it. For simplicity, I will introduce two notations. New and new. New represents the event the modular difference holds, and new represents the event the bit conditions hold. Our method to solve the open problem is to calculate the probability of an equation at first, which is used to ensure the modular difference can be correctly propagated. Then we, com we, com we calculate the probability of the bit conditions under the condition that the modular difference holds. In a word, we solve this problem by introducing a, co a conditional probability. Now, I will describe how to construct an equation to ensure the modular difference can be correctly propagated. As uh, shown in this figure, to ensure the modular difference of yi delta holds, we can construct an equation 1. By simplifying this equation, we can finally obtain the equation 3. Uh, given a differential path, the value of delta y, i minus y, delta f, delta m are all now. Delta and delta i minus 4 are all now. 
So, in this equation, C0 and C1 are not constants, and QI is a variable. Therefore, we can convert this problem into calculating the probability T satisfies this equation, where C0 and C1 are non constants, and T is a variable. Although Dom has solved it in 2005 in his PhD thesis, we try to reconsider this problem from a different perspective. And our new method will not only give a value of this probability, but also reveal some useful information of T. Uh, uh, for, for better understanding, we use a figure to describe the calculation of t plus c0, t rotate left, t rotate to the left by s bits plus c1. Uh, then, the target is to calculate the probability r0 equals to r0 prime and r1 equals to r1 prime. To ensure r0 equals to r0 prime, there are two cases. The first case is the high s bits of c0 equals to the low s bits of c1. The second case is that the high s bits of c0 plus 1 equals to the low s bits of c1. To ensure r1 equals to r1 prime, there are also two cases. The first case is the low such 2 minus s bits of c0 equals to the high such 2 minus s bits of c1. The second case is that the low s bits of c0 equals to the high such 2 minus s bits of c1 plus 1. Due to limited time, I only give an example here, and the general case can be processed in the same way. For example, we need to calculate the probability t satisfies this equation. Uh, firstly, uh, we write the constants in binary. I'll show you the uh, table to ensure r0 equals to r0 prime, carry 0 must be 1. To ensure r1 equals to r1 prime, carry 1 must be 0. To ensure carry 0 equals to 1, there are several cases, for example, the 19th bit of t equals to 1, or the 19th to the 18th bit equals to 0, 1. To calculate the probability carry 1 equals to 0, we can firstly consider the probability carry 1 equals to 1. To ensure carry 1 equals to 1, there are also several cases, for example, the 21st bit of t equals to 1. These are the details of how to calculate the probability carry 0 equals to 1 and carry 1 equals to 0. We call the 90th bit of t equals to 1 a possible characteristic of t. And we call the 31st bit of t equals to 1 an impossible characteristic of t. In total, there are 17 possible characteristics of the low 20 bits of t and, still, and the 3 impossible characteristics of the high 12 bits of t. Now, I will describe our method to, to calculate the step differential probability. For that understanding, I will use this figure to describe the calculation of yi. Uh, given a differential path, the bit conditions of yi and y minus 4 are fixed. Uh, in other words, some bits of yi and y minus 4 are fixed. To ensure the modular difference can be correctly propagated, as stated before, we can construct an equation of QI and can obtain the characteristics of the high S bits of QI and the low such 2 minus S bits of QI. The characteristics of these two paths can be considered independent. Therefore, we can also divide the calculation of YI into two paths, the high such 2 minus S bits and the low, the low S bits. The only link between these two paths is the carry. So we consider two cases. There is carry, there is carry, and there is no carry. For each case, we then can consider the two paths independently, and the problem can be reduced to calculating the probability C equals to A plus B, where some bits of A, B, and C are fixed. For example, to calculate the four bit conditions on C hold under a condition that all bit conditions on A and B hold, uh, we can consider from the high bit to the low bit. It is an easy mathematical problem. We refer the interesting reader to our paper for more details due to a limited time. Okay, next part. I will give our method to solve this equation. Uh, Firstly, we convert the right part of this equation into another form by introducing a temporary uh, variable, C2. Then, given a chosen C1, C2 
teaching can only take the following four possible values. It is easy to verify this observation according to our method to uh, calculate the probability the modular difference holds in previous part. Then, based on this observation, we can simplify the calculation and finally obtain the equation 6. By exhausting 2 to the power, such two possible values of t, we can pre-compute the solutions to the equation 6. Therefore, both the time complexity and memory complexity are 2 to the power, such two. To evaluate the efficiency of our method to obtain the solutions, I will firstly give the expectation of the number of solutions. Given a fixed C0, given a fixed Given a fixed uh, C0, uh, uh, one value of C1 will correspond to several solutions or no solution. For simplicity, I will introduce four notations. Epsilon represents the number of the solutions. Pi represents the probability there are i solutions to the equation. And I represents the number of C1, which corresponds to i solutions. And we present there are at most n solutions to the equation for k of c0, c1. Then we can obtain the three following equations. And finally, we can calculate the expectation of each node. Its value is 1. Now, at the end part of this, at the, at the end part, at the end of this part, I will uh, describe our method to obtain the solution. It can be divided into four steps. Given a pair of c0, c1, Firstly, we can calculate four possible values of C2 and the corresponding C3. Secondly, according to the pre-computed solutions and the value of C3, return all possible solutions. The expectation is four possible solutions. Thirdly, we can check, the possible, we can check all the possible solutions T, since T satisfies this equation with probability. At last, return the correct solution. The expectation is one correct solution. Therefore, the time complexity of our method to obtain the solution is four times of checking on average. Uh, I have to stress that in previous work, uh, they always construct a table of 2 to the power, such 2 plus 2 to the power, such 2. Therefore, our method to obtain this equation is uh, uh, improved uh, the previous method by a great factor. Yeah. Okay, in this part, I will give the clear attack on the first 30 step rep and dy 6 0 uh, Due to the fast diffusion of the XOR operation as the first round in the left branch, we insert a difference as the message word M15, which is used as the last step of the first round in the left branch. Our strategy to find a differential path is that for the left branch, we deduce by hand. For the right branch, we search by the automatic tool invented by Mendel. Uh, to ensure there are only a few big conditions on the left branch, it should be very sparse. And for the right branch, it should be as sparse as possible. The strategy of the clean attack is that we only apply the method modification techniques on the right branch until Y23. For the first round in the right branch, we apply the single step modification. For the second round in the right branch, we apply the multi-step modification. We don't introduce the method modification techniques here. Instead, I will introduce our method to control to ensure the modular difference can be correctly propagated as the phase of method modification in the next part. As stated previously, uh, not only the bit conditions, but also the modular difference should be satisfied to ensure that modular difference can be correctly propagated. Uh, we can add extra bit conditions on the internal states to control the characteristics of QI, which will always have the modular difference of YI holds. Uh, then, we can also use the message modification techniques to uh, to ensure the model difference can be correctly propagated since the bit conditions can be corrected by this technique. For example, we choose two possible characteristics of Q13 to ensure the model difference of Y13 can hold. In other words, we impose two bit conditions on Q13 to ensure then by adding four bit conditions on Y9, 
The two big conditions on Q13 can hold with probability 1. In this table, U represents the bit exchange from 1 to 0, and N represents the bit exchange from 0 to 1. Then, by applying the message modification techniques uh, to correct all the bit conditions on 1, 9, and 1, 13, the model difference of Y13 can hold with probability 1. All the extra bit conditions are listed in this table. Since we only apply the method modification techniques until Y23, we don't control the characteristics of QI when I is greater than 23. Also, you may observe that we don't control the characteristics of Q20. The reason is that to control the characteristics of Q20, we need to add several bit conditions, and it is difficult to craft all the bit conditions, so we make a trade-off and leave Q20 holding probabilistically. Now, I will give an example to explain the importance of controlling the characteristics of QI. Uh, to craft the force speed of Y17, we can change the 27 speed of M6. To achieve it, we can change the 27 speed of Y9 by modifying M13. Then, modify M6, M15, M8, M1, M10 to ensure Y10, Y11, Y12, Y13, and Y14 stay the same. Uh, then, in this way, the force speed of Y17 can be corrected. However, at this phase, Q9 and Q13 are changed. It doesn't matter Q9 is changed, since there is no constraint on it. However, Q13 has to specify its corresponding equation to ensure the modular difference of Y13 holds. If we don't control the characteristics of Q13, and it is changed at this phase, uh, it may not satisfy its corresponding anymore. Therefore, however, uh, in, in other words, uh, a probability was introduced at this phase, and this is bad for message modification. Yeah. Uh, however, if we have controlled the characteristic Q13, it doesn't matter its change. And this is the importance of controlling the characteristics of QI. At the last, I will give the probability of the clean attack on the first search step rep MD160. For the left branch, we don't apply any message modification techniques and the holds with probability 2 to the power minus 29. For the right branch, after applying the message modification techniques, it holds with probability 2 to the power 38. In total, the probability of our clean attack is 2 to the power minus 67. Okay, the last part, the improved semi free stop clean attack on the first 36 step rep MD160. We used the 36 step differential cast discovered by Mendo at Asia Quick 2013 and the master proposed at Euro Quick 2013. The method can be divided into three steps. The first step is to find a starting point. It means we choose internal states in both branches and fix some message words to ensure the nonlinear parts. The second phase is merging. It means we use the remaining uh, three message words to merge both branches to ensure the chaining variables in both branches are the same by computing backward from the middle. The last phase is verification. It means the rest of the differential paths in both branches are verified probabilistically by computing forward from the middle. First of all, I will describe the difference between our work with Mendel's previous work at Asia Code 2013. The difference is that we leave the message word M3 as a free message word. It means M3 will be used as the phase of as the working phase rather than the phase of finding a starting point. In this way, although the latter part of the right branch won't be fully satisfied anymore, the successful probability of the merging phase can be improved by a factor of 2 to the power 32, and this is a trade-off. Uh, as the merging phase, we need to compute backward. First, I will show the modular difference should be correctly propagated at this phase as well, and it seems that such an influence was neglected in previous work. As shown in this figure, 
to ensure the modular difference can be correctly propagated, we can obtain an equation of QI, and then we can convert this equation into the form we have discussed previously. To, in order to eliminate the influence of the modular difference, we can pre-compute value M9 and the corresponding M2. The details can be seen in our paper due to linear time. Okay. And then the only influence is the probability delta y i minus one y minus two equals to zero. Its value is two to the power minus point four. And this is the details of the merging phase. At step one, we choose a value m9 and use x6, x7, x8, x9, x10, mh to compute x5. At step two, we use m8, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8, x9 to compute x4. At step three, we choose a, a random m7 and compute until x2. At step 5, we choose a value m2 and compute until y0. At step 7, okay, and this is the. Okay. Uh, at step 10, we can construct an equation based on x minus y equals to y minus y and x minus 2 equals y minus 2. According to our method of turn the solutions, we can, uh, we can compute x minus y, y, y minus y, x minus 2, and y minus 2. Uh, <laughs> Then we can compute x minus 3, y minus 3, and 14. And last, we can compute x minus 4 and y minus 4. Uh, the probability x minus 4 equals to y minus 4 is 2 to the power of 2. And this is an instance of turn by running the above algorithm. At last, I will give the probability of the semi free stack clear attack. The probability of the merging phase is 2 to the power of 2.4. According to our method, to calculate the control probability, uh, the left branch, the probability is 2 to the power minus 8.1. The right branch is 2 to the power 17. Uh, I also, for the given starting point in our paper, I also test the actual values of it. For the left branch, it's 2 to the power 8 point, 2 to the power 8 minus 8. For the right branch, it's 2 to the power minus 16.68. In total, the probability of our clear, semi free star clear attack is 2 to the power minus 57.5. That's all, thank you. Any question? Just a quick question. Uh, you said all the time that you are calculating the exact probabilities, but at various steps I got the impression that you are calculating a lower bound on the probabilities. Uh, when you control the, uh, use the bits to control the characteristic, uh, are you sure that you computed the exact uh, probability or only a bound of the probability? Oh, I think it's not an accurate probability, yeah. Because everywhere you write equal. Uh, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, since, uh, since the bit conditions on uh, the f yeah, I, I use this table. In fact, we we treat uh, we think the probability uh, we think this this bit is a free bit, and if, uh, in fact, it is not. Yeah, so it is not an accurate. So uh, it could package. be even, the attack could be even better, right? Yeah. So so but but, it, uh, but <coughs> according to our experiment. Uh, I think it's very close. So, yeah. Thanks. I have a quick, quick question. So, uh, do you think this method can be applied to Shalanos? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I don't have, I haven't done any research on Sala. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Any more question? No, let's thank the speaker again.